Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we have a couple of more little tiny items to deal with. Uh, one of the things that I completely forgot about, and thank you to everyone who mentioned this, was that these rockets are going to keep launching even if I have too much science in uh, in the provider chests. So we want to not do that because it, it'll just launch if it has a satellite, and it'll just keep. Uh, you know, having the science in there and it'll just sort of overwrite it. It won't actually give us more and it won't stop. So we need to set up these inserters to output a certain amount or, or only, we want to only insert the satellite if we have, um, you know, less than X number of space science. So we have this many rows of space science. We have, let's see, two, that's 20 rows of 2000. All right, 20 times 2000, one, two, three, and that's 40,000, and times two chests is 80,000 science. So, what I want to do is we're going to only insert um, stuff, we're going to connect it to our, our, our logistics network, and we're going to say if space science is less than 70,000. 70, 1, 2, and 3, set. Then you can insert a satellite. And we're going to paste this to both inserters, um, and that should get us where we want to go. Let's just make sure that we've done the math here correctly. We've got 2,000 and a stack. We have 20 stacks. 20 times 2,000, 2, 3 times 2 is, yep, that's 80,000. So we're purposefully going a little bit less if there's less than 70,000. Because if it's at exactly 80,000, it'll still launch and then we'll lose the science from each of these. We want to make sure there's a little bit of a buffer. Right, so um, I don't think I'm going to put more beacons here. A couple of people mentioned that should, you know, I could put more beacons, but I don't really think it's necessary. We already have more than the required one silo. We have two, uh, and it's going at a very, very decent pace. So I think that's just fine. Um, I would like to, oh, there was, there was an issue with the train, which I have now fixed the solar train. It was indeed not getting any, um, any construction bots, and I assumed it was because we had no lubrication, uh, lu lubricant. But the issue was that this chest here, and thanks to the uh, sharp-eyed Alex, he he found this for us. Um, it was requesting both logi bots and construction bots where this uh, chest had been blank. So I moved those to that um, that chest, and it should be all good. So it looks like we're getting full on all kinds of things. We do need some substations. I wonder what's going on with substation construction. Because I feel like we should have them, but we're not getting them for some reason. Let's find where are they in the mall. Here they are. Hello. You're missing steel. Wow. All right. So I wonder if I forgot to connect the steel somehow. Or is steel just not here? Okay. These are not getting steel. I have a sneaking suspicion it's connected to that line. Are we just very short on steel? I think we are. Um, one of the things that I have not calculated is I've just been building our um, our smelting areas to have smelting areas to produce lots of stuff. I have not calculated how many machines we actually need. And this is something that we're going to go back to and make sure that that happens. Is this our steel train? Yeah, this is a steel train. So we just have no steel in the base. Um, how are we doing over here? Do we have, we don't even have a lot of plates, do we? Let's look up here. We have, we have plates. We got plates, plates for days. Uh, are these guys getting enough bots? We almost don't have enough bots there. I think we just need to build more of uh, the steel stuff. So we're going to just be real sneaky here. Uh, let me put that up there. Uh, and that can go up there as well. Get rid of this for now. Just leave that one space open. Okay. So I don't want to copy over the um, the other things that we need to get some power poles. This is just silly. So we should have enough materials delivered to this station to actually expand steel by quite a lot. Um, dee -dee -dee. Let's get these guys all organized. There we go. We're going to just add two more, maybe even more more. There, more more. 
uh, and get that going. But we also need to add some extra of these guys. One. Okay, that one is out of range, so we just need to add one onto the end here. There we are. Make sure that it's covered. Yeah, that won't fit there, unfortunately. Where are these guys? These are in this line here. So we're going to just add that there. In case we need to transfer the blueprint over, these will be in automatically the right place. Okay, so that hopefully should get that built. Let's see, are, are we... Is, is it getting built? Hello? Oh, yes, we also have this issue. This is not a good issue. All right, I'm gonna have to go up there. I'm gonna have to go up there, get stuff. Wow, there's a lot of charging going on here. Look at all these guys charging. Eek. Uh, I could add these guys here. Wow, that's nice. Look at that, how they... I'll have to get some power poles, but otherwise they do still fit. really surprised that, that I can reach that far. Seems very interesting to me. And we'll get our power poles. Pardon my Eleonora. She is a little bit wild today. Okay, so that's added some more of these guys going along there. There's still a lot of robots charging, but hopefully we can get that under control. We'll see. We could always move this whole thing back and uh, add more rows of charging stations. That's another option, of course. All right, let's go up to that area and uh, and organize stuff. Because unfortunately, what I'm doing right now is not working the best way, which is okay. I also want to deal with, uh, with oil in this episode because we could be getting a little bit more lube production going on. And I also have ideas to start something that is a much requested feature, uh, but we'll get to that in a second. All right, let's see. Oh, pardon me. Oh my God, that was a bad thing. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Um, yeah, there's a half a train hanging out. Oh my God. Okay, I just chopped it in half. Whoops. Right, so there's a plastic train that got uh, a little bit derailed slightly. All right, let's see. Is this the uh, the engine? Hey, engine, how you doing? Uh, right. Plastic pickup to base plastic. Right. We know how to... We know where to take you. Don't worry. <laughs> It'll be fine. Nobody even noticed. There's no debris even, I don't think. All right, that's fine. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Slightly whoops. Okay, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, don't don't mess with me. All right. Hey! Really? Look what it did. Oh! That is the most awesome thing ever. I, I've, I didn't know it did that. I didn't know that... Um, and I didn't copy any recipes. It just gave it the right recipe. I wonder if, if the uh, locomotives store the information. I don't know. Or if it just chooses one. Oh, that's really cool. That's that's pretty awesome. All right, we've got all this going. Right, you need some fuel here. I'm gonna borrow fuel from you. Oh my God, you're a wood fuel train. Um, let me borrow from my my proper rocket fuel train here. Um, yeah, I'll give you some of this. <laughs> I feel so bad about <laughs> crashing this train through, but I learned something new today, which is awesome. I love learning new things. Oh, that's rocket control units. It won't take those. It won't burn them for fuel, unfortunately. Wait, do I have... Oh, God. All right, there we go. Here, you can have some of this. Like, more of this. And you... I guess you can just use... Um, these as well. And uh, let me get that last bit of fuel. There we go. Shove it in there. Your color is going to be white. Come on. Okay, good. Go on your merry way. Happy days. Go. Nice. Okay. No harm done. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> oh, sorry. I just find this very, very amusing. Um, anyway, it's all good, though. I mean, we can easily fix it. I'm glad that it did stop uh, eventually. That's good. 
Uh, let's see, we're going to go up here. Oh, and we've got some blinkies going on. We need to fix those as well. Okay, we're going to stop here. Keep out of the train and see what we can do here. Looks like a lot of that did get constructed, which is great. Let's get these guys sorted out. Nice, so those are going to work at full production. We do need a lot of steel stuff. We really do. I should go to the... Um, to the thing. Oh boy. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of this last row. Hmm. Well, not completely get rid of it, just it's very difficult to see there. Okay, so this one, these two machines, got to go. Where am I? Okay, can't find myself. I'm lost in this miasma of stuff. Okay, I could, I think I should bring up that, uh, that website and figure out exactly how much steel we need for what, we're, what we want to do, uh, which is basically a thousand science per minute, including rocket science, including all the sciences, basically. Okay, so how is this working? Is that okay? Are we happy with this game? We're all, all good? That one's got to go too. Get these guys. Whoops. Oh, darn it. Okay. Okay, so we're going to copy and paste these situations there and get the requester chest for the other one. There we are. Nice. Okay. And uh, get this guy moving on here. Just make sure that there's no gap. Cool. Looking great. And of course, we should just place the next one down. And then this one can go here. Okay. And those can be connected when we need them to be. Looking good. Let's make sure that these inserters are right. Okay. They're all good on this section. Great. Right. We are now have a hive of activity. Alrighty, I have gone ahead and brought up the Factorio calculator. Let's pause the game as we go over to our window over here. And um, I have put in a thousand items a minute for all of the sciences, every one of them. Um, and I've also added a, a, a hundred items a minute for robots because I feel like it's pretty important to be making these robots and they require steel and things like that. So that's going to really impact our factory. So we are looking at lots and lots of machines. Now we're going to ignore the miners for now uh, or mining of ores, which are, where do they go? Here's some here, 270 miners, but I think, you know what, let's go and see if we can put in mining productivity. It's under... I think it's under settings. There is mining productivity bonus. Let's go back to our game and check that out. Uh, I forgot what level we're at right now. Mining productivity 31. Uh, we'll go ahead and use that. And let's see. It's under bonuses. And do, 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 do. where would it be? Uh, here it is. Plus 60%. So we're going to have 62%. That is huge. Um, right. We're going to, okay, we're going to get it right now. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool that we have that much. 62%. We're going to use that figure as we put it in our window over here. So we'll add plus 62%. And that should drop down those numbers. Do I need to save this or does it, I guess it auto saves, I hope. Right. Um, right, so we're going back here and we're taking out the productivity modules from those ores as well. I took those out. So we have a, hopefully, a decent thing. Did it, did it save at all? I'm not quite sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, it did. We needed something like 260. Now we need only 183 copper miners. Um, we're looking at steel right now. So we need 286 furnaces for steel. That's a lot. That's a lot. So let's let's go ahead and go back to the factory and uh, make sure that we have these 286 furnaces for steel. That's an awful lot of furnaces. We're going to count these guys. How many do we have? Oops, there's, I missed one level up here. All right, we have, oh, we have 188. That's not too bad, actually. 
I think we also want to, we could extend this quite far to the left as it happens. Uh, let me take this guy over. All right, we do not want to do not want to connect to the solar network there. Okay, so let's see how we can just get a nice repeatable design here of these guys. Let's get the beacons first. Just shove those along. There we go. Just add those little bits extra there. And then we'll just kind of add these guys as we go along there. Okay, I think these guys are going to be in the wrong spot, these um, power poles that I just put in. So, need to take them out. But otherwise, we should be home free on the amount of uh, things we have going on here. Okay, we'll grab... There we go, from this last area up here. See if that's enough. Oh, it's way too much. Um, all right, so from here, take off uh, three groups. Okay, so we're going to go from the end again, and this is one group, two groups, three. This should be perfect, I'm hoping. Let's make sure. Hopefully it's good. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, we could fit a couple extra machines down there. Okay, let's just do this. All right, and there we go. Uh, and we're going to need to get rid of some of this. Obviously, this is... Uh... And down here... Yeah, it's just gone all in the middle, unfortunately. That's okay, though. We're going to just repair it. Make it happy and bright and lovely again. This one needs this guy, and get this one to have that guy. And then we're going to do another count. I'm not bothered if we have too many of something, um, but too few is going to stifle our production. So it's important to have enough. Alrighty. Time to do another count. Okay, go from here. Actually, I could select the whole thing since those are assembly machines, not furnaces. We now have 354. <laughs> Which is far too many. We needed 285. Um, I think, you know what? I'm going to let it do what it does. Or should I take it off? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, could just take off like some of these end bits. So 354 minus 285. Okay, 354 minus 285 is 69. So if I take off, how many rows do we have here? One... One, two, three, four, five, six rows. Um, so we could take 10 off of each row. I think we'll take six off of each row because it's okay to have a surplus. I think uh, we may want to have more robots. We may want to build other things. We are using, you know, the mall has steel in it as well. So this, we're going to have a little bit of a surplus, but not as much as... Uh, as maybe okay that's there so we're gonna take all these off and then these guys can come off because we can save materials and beacons and stuff this way okay not too bad at all um, these guys are gonna need special help there with stuffs we may have to just take out those power poles again if we need to all right, let me go from here and place them down. Now, I suppose I could have put some up here as well, but uh, I think we'll leave rooms for the train stations. Oh my goodness, we have a severity of, um, wow, we need charging like crazy. Okay, let's just add this charging here. Okay, cool. 
And this may be a good a good spot for more charging stations where they're all flying there. Okay, that's just fine. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna copy the whole lot. Okay, grab this. Is that how far I wanna go? Approximately, yeah, why not? Like that will do quite nicely. What's there is a radar. Ugh. It's exactly in the wrong spot, which is kind of inconvenient. We'll put it in the right spot. There we go. Leaves room for one more machine there, one more robo port, which is nice. All right, now we're going to have charging for days. Fantastic. Oh my gosh. Let's take those off. So they're not going to go even to those edge ones because of just there's so many going along. I might even put some here, like vertically aligned. This rocket fuel. <laughs> um, tempted to take that out. Uh, let me. This radar is in a weird spot. Let's see where we need to be with this radar. Anywhere? Do we care? Maybe even we, maybe we don't even care about that radar. There's another one very close. I'm wondering if I just doubled up the radar somehow. Let's get these power poles out of here. They don't need to be there. I'm kind of wondering if this is a convenient spot. I don't think it is. I could um, change these over to requester chests and take off the belts entirely. Just have like a um, a stop spot here. Wow, the energy is going down going down. All right, let's put our provider chest there and then just take up the rest of this. And we'll get a nice little power pull and call that good. Oh my God, so many things. All right, we're gonna change these guys to being requester chests. Okay, and they are gonna request 30 of this for each chest. Okay, and um, that's what we're gonna do. Man, it's hard to see with all these crazy robots everywhere. Okay, you know what I'm just gonna do? I'm going to just blueprint this chest because it's annoying me. This must be a building train or something. There we go. And that doesn't have power. All right. Let's delete these guys. Take them off. Sorry for the robot storm. It's like a snowstorm going by here. Okay, get rid of these guys. Just adding them down there. All right. Oh, I keep missing those for some odd, unexplained reason. No idea why. Uh, oops, I forgot to remove this as well. Chest gotta go because I'm, I shouldn't be bothered about getting materials in my inventory because I'm already ejecting it through the auto trash and the bots are carrying it away. So what I'd like to do here is I want to make another blueprint of these guys with power poles in between, which are quite handy. And uh, we'll take these, put them here. So we're gonna get rid of two on the bottom. Um, well, one, two. Okay, and see how that works for us. Boom. Looking very good. Okay, so this should help our charging, which will be good. We can also add some in the middle here. Uh, whoops. Just to have those extra spaces for bots to charge. I really do wish that uh, Vanilla had better ways of charging robots. Like I know Bob's Mods has a really handy, like a charging platform thing. Um, and that's super cool. 
Okay, we need to go probably... Can we go like this? No. I've put those boxes in the wrong place. It's okay, though. We're gonna be fine. It'll be good. Okay, steel is getting delivered. That was a very quick... Um, didn't take long for it to leave. I suppose while we're here, we should also check on gear makers and on, um, on, uh, whatchamacallit, just iron plate making. Okay, let's look at our, uh, our sheet over here. Let's see what we got here. So for making, let's see, gears, <laughs> we need 12 machines, really? That seems unbelievably small amount of gears. Well, we got it covered in any case. <laughs> we have half a million gear machines. Okay, we might even consider spreading steel that way. Okay, we're covered on gears apparently, and that's it, right? I can't believe that that's such a small number. That's really not many. Uh, iron plates, let's look at those. Do we... Doesn't seem to put them in any order that makes sense to me. Um, so we're just going to look. Let's see. Aha, here we go. 627 furnaces for iron. Let's go and look at that then. Okay, let's go back to our thingy hopper. We're getting it for 627. This looks really pretty, actually. That, all those like little X shaped thingy, like sheaves of wheat bundled up. Right, we have um, only 282. That means we need to increase this by threefold at the very least. So that is uh, something we need to definitely do. I think what I want to do also is not just have this kind of thing. I think I want to have vertical lines of robo ports like this one, for example, between beacons. We'll have like a couple of these guys. Yeah, let's take this one out and we'll have like a little example thing for to go by. And uh, let's grab ourselves this and just go up like this. And I'm really not bothered if it aligns or if it doesn't align. That's really not important to me. It's really mostly irrelevant, completely irrelevant, in fact. I really don't need to bother about one square here or there. Oh! Right, that's a problem. Okay, so we do need that power pole section elsewhere. Okay, let's copy this and get rid of the whole thing now and get those power poles going. Okay, and we'll get these guys. Here. Oopsies, I missed something. I missed a, a line there. That's not good. All right, let's try that again. Okay, we can fit one extra there, which is quite nice. Um, yes, yeah, so we need to have another set. How far do these guys cover? These poles, they only cover the beacons. They do not cover any further than that. Okay, that's fine. This is just like really compact. Ah, yes. And these, this is kind of this old design that I've been using, which is okay. It uses more chests, um, but it still works fine. All right, let's, um, gosh, if I do another th set here, Ah, it should be fine. All right, we're going to leave that like that. We're just going to copy over a whole bunch of lots of lots of like a, this amount of. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I should copy this power pole section as well. Yeah, there we go. Like that amount, maybe less. I should actually count from how, how many we have between roboports. That would be more sensible. Right, so we have, we have a, a set of roboports here. 
Let's just copy the amount between the next RoboPort section. That seems to make some difference. Um, yeah, like that. That looks good. We'll shove this in over here. Let's make sure it's all aligned. There we go. And the wood comes in. Hooray! Sort of. Not really. <laughs> not really. Wow. So many robots. And of course we're running out. We have over 7,000 logistics robots in this network. This is very, very massive. This is big. And of course, after we get all of this stuff organized, we're going to have to figure out how we want to um, do all the ore mining because we have a lot of ore to gather. Uh, let me go. Let's look at our, our sheet again here. We need to gather. We have we need to have 367 miners going at the same time to get enough ore at a minimum. OK, so how many do we have right now? We've got this is our ore thing, right? This Oh, that's stone. That's not ore. It's not iron ore. <coughs> I've sort of forgotten where we're getting iron ore from. It's been such a long time since I visited that station. Um, there's a little bit over here. There's a little bit over there. Ah, oh, it's over here. That's right. Okay, so it still has 59 million. Um, this is 405, right? And we needed 367. Okay, so we're way, way up on ore. We just need to really build out these um, the production plants for iron and stuff. That's that's the most important thing, I think. All right, let's get this going on. Let's get these aligned a little bit. Those should cover those, but the top ones. The top ones. I'm not going to use substations because that's not really necessary at all. Okay, good. So hopefully as we get materials, we'll start building this stuff out and it'll be functioning fairly efficiently here. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it will. I don't know. We need mountains of roboports. Golly gee. What are we missing at the mall? That's uh, Whoa, what's going on here? We're missing substations, right? It's the steel problem, actually. Um, I don't know how much steel a RoboPort takes. Probably some. There they are. Yeah, they're missing steel. Beacons and RoboPorts. But we're getting some. I should really upgrade this stuff. Let's go in. Um, where's my upgrader ometer thingy? Not an ometer. It's, um, there we go. There's some speed. Good. Speed is good. Grab it. These guys are going. I should probably put speed modules in these. I wonder if my... Um, I don't think module inserter would work. Because I you have to be in a range with your robots. We've, wow, we're have, we have 100 in there. So we just need deliveries of these things out here. So that's going to take a little while with the building train and such. But um, yeah, we're doing pretty well. So many robots. Man, oh man. I may need even to increase my robot production uh, significantly because of this. Okay. It's okay, though. We're good. I have to say that making a mega base in 0 0.15 is much more involved than in, um, in previous versions, for sure. So I remember my, my Diva mega base was just about... Um, you know, a rocket per minute, and uh, it was not anywhere near this size. So it's it's getting pretty big. It's getting pretty big, but I'm happy about that stuff. Um, right. How many are we going to have after this? Let's go to map mode and count. I really love that you can use blueprints to count stuff really easily. Okay, so now we have 391. And uh, let me go back to my sheet here. We need... Where are the plates? 627. Wow. So we need almost twice this. Dang, where should I put that? I could stretch it out this way, which is okay too for, you know, getting stuff over there. But yeah, the travel distance is long there. I kind of wish that I had put this train station upward so I could make it longer vertically. Um, but the problem with that would be, you know, there's this iron mine right here. 
So I guess I could keep extending it to the sides, maybe. Maybe I should just copy this whole thing that I just put down. This whole thing with those uh, power poles as well. And uh, set that down here. And this could be our repeatable design. Oh my god, I can't see. Come on, get out of my way, furnaces. Actually, I don't really mean get out of my way, furnaces, because... You know, furnaces don't really have locomotion possibilities, so it's kind of unfair for me to ask that of them. <laughs> that sounds totally silly, but that's okay. We, we can deal with silly. Silly is good occasionally. All right, so we want now, now we want something different. We want to combine these guys and make this a section. We're going to put it on, have it be happening here. Oopsies, excuse me. Oh my god, my WASD got confused. Okay, can't be doing that. That's kind of not good. Are those aligned? I think they are. Yes, go. And we're going to need more again. All right, and we'll get these guys also copied over. That's a really kind of a nice sheaf there of stuffs. Uh, I need another blueprint, right? All right, let's get these guys placed down. Just want to make sure all this gets power, but yeah, we're going to need lots of supplies from the base to get all this stuff working and going and happy and delighted work for us. Here, Logibots, you can go. I no longer need your services, so chill out, have a nice time, have fun, have a go. And of course, all this means that uh, <laughs> our power is going to be suffering mercilessly. Oopsies. Don't quite want to do that. I want to do it a little bit differently. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. We now have more stuff. Let's check map mode and see exactly how much stuff we have. Furnaces to the rescue. Maybe 718. That, I think, is going to be enough. Uh, we needed 627, 718. That'll give us some extra iron for miscellaneous supplies and stuff and things. I think that's going to work really well. We just need more stuff. Oh my god, all this, like, the <laughs> waves of wood going into these poor chests. I'm like, no, we're bursting with wood, stop. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we'll, we will try to hear the plaintive cries of the wood chests, but they probably will be to no avail. All right, do we have any major problems with bots? It doesn't, well, there's some over here that are having issues. These guys are needing charging. This is a really nice, I'm going to keep this, I think. I'm going to call this, um, let's see, furnaces. Whoa, whoa, there's a mistake right there. This is not good at all. No, 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 no. Shoot, and I've repeated it all over the place so far. Let's find that mistake. Where is it? There's one. There's a mistake right there. Yeah, it seems like... No, that's a RoboPort. Dang, it's hard to see where the mistakes are because of the so much traffic with the bots. Here it is. This is where it is. Okay. And we need to blueprint that thingy. There we go. So we can just... There's another one over here. We're going to redo this blueprint because it does not do to have these big mistakes in it like that. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but it's okay. We're going to fix it. I think, is that all the mistakes there are? Just kind of looking for any irregularities. Looks fine. I think it's fine. Okay. So we're going to copy and paste this whole thing. Um, yeah, between the beacons, or between the robo ports, I should say. Beautiful. Okay. And this is going to be repeatable uh, furnaces with robo ports. Okay. Fantastic. Good. 
put this I'm gonna put this in my game blueprints because I don't know if we're gonna use it in other playthroughs or not I do feel like I should have done more roboports in this area in the center so uh, that's something to definitely consider I also want to take these guys we do have a lot of robo robots hanging around here I'm hoping that these vertical ones will help them out with that charging uh, but we'll see we'll see how it goes um, all right, we can delete that right now. Okay, and grab these guys. And these, there we go. Take it all down. Nice. And I'm gonna get these power poles, which I have no more of. Let's go see if the, um, the train has any power poles, because those are important to put down as well. Oops, we need more here. go hey train how you doing we need power poles it's a thing we like them it's fun power poles are good but as this starts filling up with stuff um yeah our problems are gonna get less and less i hope <laughs> okay let's just take these this way there we go boom And now there's kind of a diagonal thing going this way. There might be completely vertical traffic here, I'm thinking. Uh, as these guys get finished, there's going to be more stuff going back and forth. I don't know if we're going to need more of this. I guess we could add them in just to be on the safe side. We'll just copy this entire thing and then just plonk them down. Oopsies. There we go. There we are. And this is kind of why I put that <laughs> put that chest right there. Anyway, okay, it's looking very good. Okay, very nice, very nice, very nice. All right, so we didn't get time to do the oil-related things. I think we might do that in the next episode. Um, the plan that I was talking about, I was kind of wanting this to be a surprise, but um, when you look at the oil production items, you can start off with basic oil processing, which gets you 30... Um, Heavy oil, 30 light, and 40 petroleum. This one gives you 10, 45, 55. But coal liquefaction gives you 35, 15, 20. And I think that's exactly what we want. My, my thought is to build a coal liquefaction plant where we have a decent amount of coal. I found a pretty good one. Was it here? 13, 67 million coal. That's an awful lot of coal. But we could run our... Um, our southerly line, our um, train line up this way, or we could go from this way, either way, we could even have an, a cross over here and put a coal liquefaction plant right out here. We only need a very tiny amount of lubricant to start the process um, because, where is it? Yeah, you need 25 heavy oil and then you need some steam for it, but then it, it produces much more heavy oil and that might be something interesting to start up with. I've never done coal liquefaction, so that might be something that we're just going to explore together, um, which sounds like a nice idea to me. Um, anyway, but yeah, that's that's the thought, is to generate lubricant. Um, and with the other products, since you can't really convert them back into heavy oil, what I would do with that 15 uh, light oil and 20 uh, petroleum is just convert it into rocket fuel and have that supplement the base. Uh, the other thing that I want to do with the base is convert these guys into regular oil processing uh, so that they produce more heavy oil just naturally. Uh, some people have suggested using the plastic. Uh, maybe I'm thinking about it. I don't know. We'll have to see what what needs plastic. Right now I think it's only low density structures. Um, but yeah, otherwise I think we're doing pretty well. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.